As you might have heard by now, backlinks are pretty important for high search engine ranking. In fact, even in recent studies, backlinks, quality white hat backlinks that is, still remains one of the most important search engine ranking factors. There is also plenty of other research that tells us the same thing. For instance, that backlinks are crucial to higher search engine rankings and more organic traffic. The problem, however, with creating backlinks is that you can always get yourself a Google penalty for doing it the wrong way. Ideally, backlinks should always be contextual and 100% organic. So, how exactly do we do this since it seems like creating backlinks naturally is something that's purely out of your control? Although this is true to some extent, there are still ways that allow you to proactively build out your natural, penalty-free backlinks as well. So in this video, we'll focus on precisely that the broken link technique that will help you generate high quality and completely natural backlinks, all on the up and up and with high quality content. Step number one, shortlist your target websites. These target websites should be the ones from which you wish to acquire backlinks. How to shortlist them? It's actually very simple. Aim for the top blogs and websites that are within your niche, those that are at the top of the mountain that you would actually cherish. There should be several, even if sometimes few, very popular and well-established blogs in your niche. Even if you don't already know them, run a couple simple Google searches and find those puppies. You can start by searching for the top 10 blogs in your niche, best blogs in your niche, best blogs from the current year in your niche, you can Google for news articles specifically in your niche, and so on. These simple searches will help you build up a good list of websites that you should target. All that said, here's an important thing to note as you are compiling this list. The websites that you shortlist must be from your own niche, despite whether or not they are just showing up in the search results. Otherwise, this ain't gonna work. If you generate backlinks from outside your niche, they really won't be of much value, and not only will it be a waste of time, but this will go against the organic method that we're aiming for here. Backlinks from off-niche, unrelated websites will land you in trouble and get you penalized by Google. Websites with 0% relevant links, that is with no links from their own niche, will reap the most severe penalty, while websites that have 100% relevant links from their own niches won't get any penalty whatsoever. This is why it is extremely important not to acquire backlinks from websites that are not within your niche, even if there is an easy opportunity to do it. For instance, if your website is in the heating and air conditioning niche, don't generate a backlink from a fashion website. They aren't related and any backlink you get from a website dedicated to the fashion niche can earn you a nice little downgrade in the search engines. You just don't want that. Check My Links is a great Google Chrome extension, and it's an important tool that we are going to need for this broken link method. Here's a simple explanation of what it does. As its name suggests, Check My Links will help you identify any broken links on a given website or web page. Once it identifies any potential broken links on the websites you targeted in step one, then you can proceed to the further steps to acquire backlinks. Just go to the Chrome Web Store and find Check My Links, if you haven't already, and add the extension. For the record, Xenu's Link Sleuth and Domain Hunter Plus are two similar tools that will do the same work. So add the extension, and you can pin it to the end of the address bar here if you like. Now just visit one of those handful of targeted sites you have on your initial list. Again, make sure that all these websites are directly related to your own niche. Click on the extension, and you'll see a thorough, real-time analysis of all the links on that site. And if you find any broken links, this is your golden opportunity. Write these links down, and more importantly, the piece of content those links were referring to. Now note that while Check My Links and similar tools work very well, it is still highly recommended to manually check the broken links at least once and confirm that the link is well and truly broken before you, drumroll, create a better piece of content. Once you have identified the broken links, there are two possibilities for you. Either you already have an amazing piece of content in that niche to replace that with the broken link, or grab a cup of coffee and write it now so that you have a better piece of content for the replacement. Now, if you don't have that better piece of content, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Make sure that your content is significantly better than the content with the broken link in every aspect. For instance, if you identified a broken link on three tips for creating better Facebook ads, you should have a post ready on 21 amazing tips for creating highly profitable Facebook ads, and so on. Nowadays, bloggers prefer linking to comprehensive and in-depth blog posts. So create longer blog posts that have more than 1,500 words. Make sure your content is filled with images, videos, and other visual elements. Go the whole nine yards. Then, contact the blog owner. By now, you have everything perfectly ready to go. You have shortlisted your websites, identified the broken links, manually checked them for confirmation, and created better pieces of content ready to replace them. 
Go to their contact forms or find their email and notify them professionally and politely that he or she has a broken link on their blog and that it's currently redirecting their visitors to a dead end. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it is broken and a website owner doesn't know about it, then they're going to be very grateful to you for bringing it to their attention. And while you're at it, here while you're in the very good graces with this helpful gesture, you can offer them an even better piece of content than they had before and they can replace the broken link with that. Helping them, helping you. The trick is to play it cool and don't beg for the link. Your goal should be to just let them know that they have a broken link on their blog and, if they like, they can replace it with your article that just so happens to be better in almost every aspect. Something like, Hello, so-and-so, I'm a big fan of you and your blog, a subscriber. I especially liked your last post on such and such and how it explains such a complex topic so easily. By the way, I was browsing and reading your other posts and found that one of them here has a broken link and link to it. If you want, you can replace it with this and give them a URL to your content so that their readers won't hit that dead end. Keep sharing those awesome blog posts, you rock, and so on. Now obviously you're not going to get a 100% success rate with this technique, but it can be a real game changer if you do it right. This is because you are not only generating a backlink, but you are also doing something valuable for the other blogger, mentioning the broken link and providing a better piece of content as the replacement. And there are two distinct benefits of this broken link technique. You generate penalty-free backlinks from blogs that are directly related to your own niche. And most importantly, you get a contextual link, unlike the author bio backlinks that you get from guest posting. According to modern day SEO, contextual backlinks are significantly more powerful than author bio links. Good luck. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.